Hello everybody and welcome back to some more Fiend Folio. We are jumping in again. Let's randomize our character. See just who we might get today and jump on into the run. Oh, we can't do Tainted Eden. He's still a bit busted, but we did get Tainted Cain. Uh, Tainted Eden's a weird one. He's still a bit buggy. Um, I, I suppose I could do him. I think he works now, but Tainted Keeper is also like so much more fun. So I'm going to play Tainted Keeper. Because he's just, yeah, he's a lot of fun. Uh, we did play him once before, I think, on, um, we did play him once before on Fiend Folio. So he's kind of a tough character, but we'll give it a go. As for the question of the day today, um, what is a bit of common knowledge that you just recently found out about? Because, um, I was talking about this with my friend Never Named the other day. Goddamn, there's three movable barrels in here. What the hell? Um, I'm trying to think of a good place to stand to do this. Without getting hurt. Okay, that works. I was hoping I'd get the matchstick, but oh well. Um, yeah, because I was recently talking to my friend Never Named about this, and um, he was telling me about how, the fact that like horses used to be used to make glue, and I was like, "What? That's, that's, a, that's a thing? Why? Why?" There's like definitely the world has changed a little bit since then, so it's not as big of a thing anymore. Also, enemies that create creep are so annoying as this character. Oh, you got him. Oh god. Oh my god, you dropped a nickel as well. Um Oh god. What do these guys do? I don't know what these enemies do. This is a really, really harsh room for these enemies. I mean, to be fair, they seem to dive in a bit of a weird direction, so they're not that hard. But I doubt we're gonna get many of these pennies, and one of them was a luck penny as well, god damn it. Um But yeah, like, I know that times have changed a little bit now, but like God damn, we used to use so many animal products that were just seemingly so unnecessary to use. Um, the boomerang actually ain't a bad idea to grab right now. I know this seems weird, and I'm gonna, I might regret this, but I think without flight, the boomerang might be of use. Okay, I was just about to say, is the um, oh, this guy's flying backwards. What the hell? I was going to say to the white uh, white spiders produce coins, because that would be insane. Okay, this guy's producing more and more enemies that seemingly drop coins. I just want to test out... Okay, no. They, they stop after a certain time. I thought they would. Okay, we got a few coins there. Uh, I would like to try and get a little bit more money to potentially maybe go and get something from the item room. But otherwise, I'll just if I don't get enough money, I'll just ignore my item room. Yeah, I really wanted that coin there. It was a bit risky to go grab it. But yeah, I gotta say, I think I think that maybe the um, maybe the boomerang could be pretty useful for grabbing stuff over gaps. Also, the freezing effect, while it's not insanely useful, it is something that I underrate. Okay, this guy gonna be particularly annoying, and also as well, like it is a pretty quick recharge item, which is always good. I'm going to play this a little cautiously with the um, the excess enemies that have been spawned here. Especially you. Okay, don't really worry about the boss all too much for now. Yeah, honestly, I, I don't know. I, I Maybe I really underrate the boomerang, because it does decent damage and it can freeze, and freeze bosses more than once. Okay, cool. We didn't quite get enough. This could give us a penny. It did. Okay, so we can either get meat or let's check out item room and see what we get from there. I could just leave the item room and get meat, to be honest, but obviously it's only a small damage up. Yes. Very, very glad that I went and found this because it's a very good item. Good to go. Okay. Pretty happy. But yeah, I, I feel like um, there's, there's a lot of things that used to use animal products that don't as much anymore. Obviously, because more of the world is becoming vegetarian and vegan, but also just because there's no need like, why the hell were people making fucking glue using horses? Apparently it was something to do with their bone marrow or something, I think. Uh, but it's just like, why? <laughs> there must be better synthetic alternatives. Oh, dude, that enemy almost got me there. Oh, Lord. Okay, that that's pretty good. We got our um, things going on. Honestly. Th okay, these guys could really mess me up. I've got to be very careful. Okay, we're good, we're good. That was a little risky. Yeah, um, it's, it's like uh, like with gelatin and stuff like that. I mean, I kind of get it a little more with gelatin, 
Like, but like, if you're making like sweets, sweets should really be vegan if at all possible. There's no reason they should have meat products in them in any way, shape or form. It's just kind of strange. There should really be other alternatives. Also, the fact that this thing can go, um, is, is spectral and piercing is kind of good. Ooh, we get one of the holy pennies as well. Hey, good bit of money there. Straight into our shop. We can also grab that coin in a second. Ooh, okay, I'm gonna take nine volt. Just because I'm curious to see. Yes. It, okay, this is gonna make the boomerang even better. Because now it's it, it literally charges in half the amount of time. Which is, yeah, it's gonna be pretty incredible. In fact, I think now it recharges before this this is actually something that I've never thought of before. I think it actually now recharges before the enemy unfreezes. Like, let's just try that. So you freeze. It does. Okay, that is insane. That is actually pretty insane. Uh, we'll go back and clear out the extra rooms here, but I, that is a synergy or like an interaction that I've never really clued into before. It, I mean, I'll be honest, it's just, it's an item that I very, very rarely pick up, so it's, um... It's not something that I really get to experience very often, but goddamn, this is actually pretty insane. Obviously, we do have to use we do have to use it. I'm gonna start taking pills. There's so many of them. I really should have got to a position where I could pick those coins up before I killed them enemies, but oh well. This, yeah, this is pretty awesome. I don't know if I'm gonna bother going deal with the devil, I'll be honest. Just because um I won't be able to afford anything yet. Look, Penny there, beautiful. Probably just go item room and see what we get here. Okay, that was a bit of a misstep there by me. Okay, good. This might... Nah, I was going to say that might have something... I should probably destroy these fires considering we just got a look up Penny. And um, another normal Penny from them. They could reward us. Go to our item room here as well. See what is on the plate for us today. E. coli. It's actually not bad, but I'm not going to take it. Yeah, let's start taking some of these pills because there's just so many of them available to us right now. Another I found pills. Ooh, little babies. Oh, that was bullshit. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay, I just lost HP at the worst possible time there. Is there any way we can get ourselves a quick penny? Because I'd very much not like to go into the boss on one HP. Um, I guess I could... I, I'm just going to take the rosary. That should fill up our hearts. It didn't. Okay, gave us fire. What, what was the other thing here? I, I probably should have just taken that, to be honest. Because the rosary is going to increase our chance of finding the Bible. But we'll be then closer to Seraphim, so... Okay, we might end up dying right here and now, to be honest, depending on what boss we get. Okay, no, we're good, we're good. Ooh, more luck upgrades, good. Yeah, like I said, Devil Deal is out of the question right now. Um, So let's just... Let's go down to the downpour for now, why not? Good, good. I like these bloody buckets, too. They're pretty cool. I think com common knowledge things like that are really funny when, like, it's just some people can be just so out of tune, but it's one of those things where it's just like, if you just didn't have a, a reason or, like, an, a, a time where you'd come across that piece of common knowledge, it's so easy for it to sort of slip you by, that sort of thing. Um, like, I remember someone that I used to live with, um, to be fair, she generally wasn't good with common knowledge, but I remember one time she was, um... Like, we were talking about the round table and, like, um... Oh, one second. Right, sorry about that. I just had to collect a parcel real quick. Uh, but, yeah, I was saying that, like, someone I used to live with here didn't know about, like, the sword and the stone and all that sort of stuff. And, like, they'd never heard it before. And I was, like, like, 22. After that, how has that never been something you've ever heard before? I found that bizarre. I don't know what that colostomy enemy's gonna do, but I wasn't a fan. Right, good, good. Got you as well. And you, huzzah. I don't know why I'm still holding this pill, I'll be honest. Checking here real quick. Uh, we're getting some pretty piss poor shops. Did someone bugger up the shop room layouts with this character? Because they are not looking like keeper shops so far. We've not had a single one that I'd consider a keeper level shop. 
Okay, we're good. We got three mini Isaacs here as well. Let's grab them. Beautiful. No, the penny went into the white fire. That's not okay. But yeah, right now we don't really have any reason to go into the shop. I guess we go back to our item room real quick. See what's in there. But yeah, it's just it's just kind of interesting how different common knowledge can be like some people can have never heard of it before, even if it's something that's really commonly referenced or, or just something that you think anyone of that age would know. It's it's easy to have those strange little gaps in your knowledge. And I'm sure I have some of them too. Like, only the other day I was speaking to someone about how it was in one of my Instagram episodes, actually. Ooh, I like that item. It's the snack one. And we got money. Okay, that guy is glitched out after being stuck. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, Jacob's Ladder would have been good, though. But I like the snack item. Snack item's good. Um, About the other day, about how, like, the, the moon is classed as a satellite. I, I never knew that a satellite was just anything that orbited. Anything that, that was orbiting is a satellite. I never knew that. I thought satellite was specifically a man-made object. But no. It's just strange little gaps in knowledge like that. Like, I don't know if that's a super common bit of knowledge, but apparently a lot of people in the comments seem to know it, and I didn't, so... Ooh, we got a new boss here. Oh, damn it. Okay, Golden Penny in the room is fantastic here. Because that helps us out immensely. Yeah, I have absolutely zero idea what this boss does or how to dodge him. Just be aware that we have a Golden Penny available to us. Okay, good. We get a wad of tumors here. And this, hopefully, this Golden Penny will allow us to buy an Angel Deal item here. If it doesn't, I'm going to be a bit sad. Okay, get take it as much as we can we'd like to get up to 30 if plausible but obviously it's not always going to happen and we get this is exactly why because i had a feeling this might happen uh we get an item that we cannot afford at all anyways we go down back to the regular floors that's a bit of an oof magoof i will say a bit sad oh there's some b enemies in this floor oh god those are not fun b enemies Come on, snacks. Get to poisoning. I got the dime. Oh my god. I rushed in and I got it. I do have a little bit of protection with these uh, wispies. We're mostly okay here. I love these little things. They're so cute. Ah! He's just poisoning things, healing contact damage. Doing a good job. Um, Arachnus Spool. It is significantly better than the boomerang. The boomerang has served me well, but this is significantly better. I will admit. Not only is it a slur, this is an enemy that I do not like the idea of. I am really not a fan of this enemy. Calm, calm yourself, sir. Okay, so we'll create these little things here, look. And they will hatch into spiders. Now, it's not going to give us the multicolored spiders, I don't think, like Arachna does. But this is still useful for us. Especially in situations where we can create multiple. Which, obviously, is going to be a lot of situations. Okay, on spiders like this, it won't do anything, though. Let's not bother. But we can still get the slowdown, obviously. Slowdown's still useful. I'd like a speed up, do you know what? I very much would. Let's hope our shop is a little more upgraded this time around. Oh, look at all those spiders. That's a bit more like it. Okay, so meteorite is fun. Um, this is decent enough. And honestly, I'll take this as well. Uh, Devil Rooms will have an extra item that costs broken hearts. Okay, that's actually useful, useless for us, unfortunately, as this character. Being able to hold two trinkets now is good. The meteorites falling are also kind of nice. I did use a lot of money there, so if we get an angel deal or devil deal, it's going to be out of the out of the question right now, which is maybe not the greatest of ideas, but hey ho, it has happened. I'm not super concerned with that right now. Oh, okay, we got a dime anyway, so. That at least puts us back slightly on track. I like this meteorite trinket. It's good. Oh, God. Oh, we missed out on a dime there. That's a shame. But yeah, the enemy was one of the ones that creates 
poison, uh, not poison, herming shots. Uh, not exactly plausible for us to grab there. Sadly, no item from you, but that doesn't really matter for us. Holy. I'm missing out on a lot of the coins because I'm trying to use the spool effectively. I'm not sure which one's going to be a more worthwhile effort, to be honest. It's okay, we're getting there. I want to try and get to 30 cent, but we'll see if we do. Oh, for God's sake, the meteorites are pushing my coins away. Stop doing that. Okay, nice, and then we got a snot blower here. I think one of my meteorites killed the other one. Got a golden penny there. Okay, fantastic. We're definitely up to 30 now, so angel slash devil deal is now actually plausible. I forgot the meteorites also destroyed rocks here. That wasn't something I was expecting. That's a trinket, that is. I mean, obviously, it is random, so basically, you are at the whim of R and Jesus to see if you actually get the rock destroyed that you want destroyed. But still. That didn't quite do what I wanted it to. Yes. We did get a few spiders for the boss fight. We've also got exactly the right amount of money. Anything over 45 for an angel or devil deal is good. One 30 cent item and one 15 cent. I don't think the spool does anything to bosses. Okay, we didn't get anything anyways, and we got a HP up there, which is obviously useless. I'm going to make my way back down to the mines here. I like skipping and hopping between the floors. It's fun. I love the way the snake spawns. Is this just a regular enemy? I don't know. Okay, he threw a bomb at me, so no. Got some bomb dropping folk here. I wasn't going to worry about that penny, but then the explosion actually brought it to me, so... Okay, so these are like clickety clacks, but they're different. Oh, they're spawning out of the other bodies here. Which is kind of interesting. Okay, they were cool enemies. They were really cool enemies. Okay, I... This guy, particularly, I think is going to be a real pain in the ass. He's going to take three or four attempts to vanquish. There's our second trinket, at least. And, ooh, what the hell? Our planetarium room is at the other... That's very odd. Is it the other side? Um, I suppose they need to have the weakness effect. It's not great. I think we should take this. Hey, that's actually pretty good. We got a... Golden heart on that. We got a golden pill here as well, which I'm gonna take. I should wait. I should wait until a little bit later though. Yeah, I've got a golden heart as the keeper, which doesn't doesn't look right. <laughs> then we've got terror in here. This is tricky because this is a pretty tough room, but I'm gonna try this out. I'm trying to use as many bombs as I can here because I'm not going to need him after this because I've got Terra now. Now I've just got to hope he doesn't do some really unpredictable attacks. Such as that one. Okay. The Golden Heart was really important. I didn't realise how important it'd be. Leave the rest of the hearts just in case. Also, he seems to be glitched out. Worked out for us, I guess. Okay. We managed to get Terra out of that. That's very, very nice. And we'll wait on the golden pill. But yeah, having Terra here is, is really, really nice. I don't know if the golden version of our um, trinkets are going to do anything. I'm not exactly sure. I like the look, at least the, the look of these guys. These are cool enemies. They scare me, but they're cool. Secret rooms anywhere? Should be checking for them whenever I can. Is this these enemies again? It is. Okay, these guys hippity hop over. Nice, there's a lot of spiders there. A lot of spiders, lovely. And here we just got you. Ooh, you, you spawned little money bag fellas that are stealing my coins. 
<laughs> That's pretty cool. Right, money-wise, we are looking more than good. We are looking very dandy. I don't know what those little fluff balls are, but I don't like the look of them. Okay. Cleared that room somehow. You guys don't look friendly. Okay, we didn't get much out of here. I'm really not worrying about the money right now. The money's not of primary concern. We're at such a high amount of money ourselves that I don't think it's that worth worrying about. Like, we'll get them if we can. But really, we shouldn't play around. This enemy's cool. He's very strong. But he's cool. But look at that. We're on, we're on 72 already. Okay, these guys I do not understand. They don't seem to be that hard. Okay, they're not that hard. Good. Tried to get a web on hit on you, but didn't work. Teleports you to the curse room or sacrifice room. Not very good for us. There's a little ghosty boy here that's trying to pick up that that ball. Okay, we're we're at the boss already. Um, I don't think we really need to look into much else on this floor, to be honest. Right, then we'll start using our golden pill. I want to save to the end of the floor in case we got like an error room teller pills. It's not super likely to get that, but just prepare for that just in case. I tried to use a bomb there, it didn't really work. Dude, every time I use a bomb, can you not? The snake seems to be doing a good job of keeping on top of him. Okay, that was not a good hit by me either. But we did kill him. Get ourselves some money as well. Angel deal, beautiful. We did get stairway, which is definitely one of the better items we can get as this guy. Right. Okay, it's, it's all out. It's all out. Right, down we go. Okay, so we do have Stairway now, which is definitely a very good item as this character. Might be able to get some good stuff. And all stats up to start is pretty good. It's not insanely good, just because of the, the character we're playing as, but it definitely helps. Now we need to rebuild our money a little bit, because we have spent a good amount. Not a lot, but need a little bit. I'm trying to think of some other, like, really, really silly gaps in my common knowledge, because I bet there's tons. To be fair, you guys can give me some probably good examples of some common common knowledge to see if I know it, and then I can let you guys know if I do know it or not. <laughs> That'd be a fun little game. We didn't find our secret rooms on the last floor. I really don't know why, to be honest. It was no excuse for me not to have. This is a tricky room here. There's a lot of fighting going on. I'm getting pushed around a lot. Yeah, all of that money is mine. Thank you. Hey, this is really good. It does seem, by the way, that um, having our golden meteorite is doing something. It seems to have increased the frequency of which the meteorites drop, I think. I'm actually not 100% sure, but I do feel like that's the case. Okay, shop time. Did not expect that, but we managed to get through it. And then here, not really got anything great here. Um, our shops have been pretty, like this run's pretty good, but our shops have been pretty useless this entire run. Which isn't the usual case for this dude. Normally shops go pretty well for this fella. This time around. By the way, is it just me or is my, my health like a slightly different tint than normal? My coin hearts. I feel like they don't quite look right. Okay, this is good. This is an opportunity for us to get some good. Our range isn't really high enough to go for that, I don't think. Are you kidding me? A, a fucking meteorite dropped on the machine and broke it and left me with little fucking portal. 
You've got to be kidding me, game. We also got a repeat room here from Community Remix. We can redo this room over and over to uh, build up drops, but the room will get harder each time, so that did get seen to. Today, every time we enter this room, it's going to respawn, but we are going to be able to farm the drops and farm the room clear rewards. It's kind of an interesting concept for a room, I think. Um, they, they, they seem to be uh, like the right level of commonness as well. Like They don't seem to be so common to be annoying or so common to be super abusable, but common enough so that you, you do see them at least once or twice a run. So far, they seem to have found a decent balance for that, I think. I don't know what some of these enemies do. Certainly scares me. Yeah. Right, let's get out of here. Where is our secret room? Our second secret room, that is. Already found our first one. No, not there. Hmm. Would have thought it'd be somewhere over there. Go back. Check over this way. There it is. Nice. Found three random coins. Decent. Up to 99 now. Lovely. I do have terrors. I can just walk through rooms if I need to. Okay, so this is where things get a little tricky now. Because I think we, we're still lacking a few key bits here. Like, our run's decent, but our damage overall really isn't not anything to write home about. Having terror and stuff helps. Having my Snecker is good too, but like, as you can see, this is a relatively slow mum fight. I wouldn't say slow, but it's definitely not quick. And normally as Tainted Keeper, your your mum your mum kills are usually pretty fast. We can take whatever we want here, I think. Yeah. Let's just go down. And then we hope Stairway provides us, really. We're really hoping that Stairway is going to be the thing that pulls through and gives us some good items. Well, already that's pretty good. And honestly, I'm going to buy all of these from you because you can give extra rewards when you finish up. Didn't finish up with anything decent, but there you go. Um, Prism's pretty good. Prism's pretty good. It's still not the, the really the, the answer the solution we were looking for, I'll, I'll admit. But it's decent enough. Okay, we're considering 170 coins as well, I think money is just as it comes. Otherwise, is this guy is an Among Us boy. Oh, looks very similar to him. I think we focus mainly on getting spiders out there. Whoa, what the hell's that big bar going across the screen there? Ow. I almost died there. Holy shit. That was really close. I took a very big gamble then, and it only just paid out. Holy. Honestly, the meteorites, while, while useful, are pretty distracting. It's kind of hard to focus on what's going on in the actual room when there's just explosions everywhere. Nice. I love these enemies. They're so fucking cool. They're deadly as shit, but they are really cool. Look at that. It's beautiful. Some of these enemies are just absolute massive sand. Also, did you notice then that I think one of my meteorites fell through my prism? I'm not sure if that's exactly what happened there, but it, it, it looked like that's what happened. Nice. Got a hand coming down any second here. And probably another, and maybe even another. Nice. Overcharging this doesn't really do anything for us, but we ma we managed it. I think, honestly, the meteorites are doing more work than I would think. Okay, this is going to be rough. At least these guys have a somewhat predictable shot angle now. You can kind of see where they're about to shoot. Yeah, that, that wasn't so bad. Ooh, this is a new boss. 
shooting out little dudes here and there. Little cubes of meat bits here that can be destroyed. I think they're just there to be in the way. Maybe he can, like, eat them to gain health or something. Okay, well, that one's rolling back towards him. Okay, luckily we have a lot of knockbacks. I think this guy's mainly neutered by that fact. But a very cool boss nonetheless. Interesting. Um, I'll take that after and see if it gives us a trinket we want. Glyph of Balance is also decent here. No, we won't take that. We won't take that. I know that uh, Cartridge isn't really going to be super useful. It's like a 30% chance on hit to turn to Game Boy. Not super useful, but it is there. It's okay. Um, we grab this, which can give us... Okay, that gave us Book of Virtue, which is going to be pretty decent. Hitbox size is reduced and indicated by a red marker. By a marker, sorry. Grants damage for the current room. Oh, shit. I keep forgetting things like this can happen. This could be problematic because we don't have money in the room. Or ways of generating money in the room. Okay, there's, there's some money at least. Didn't mean to kill you, though, fella. Right. Oh, the, 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 the thing actually does produce relevant lo um, relevant wisps. That's pretty cool. The person that made a racket went the extra mile to do that. Nice. I don't know what that's going to do for us, but we're going to create a hell of a lot of them, so... Either way, it's going to be useful, I think. Even if it's just protecting us from shots. Right, we do need to try and build up money a little bit. That was another purple room there, so we're going to have to redo that as we go back through. A very annoying purple room as well. In fact, just get the hell out of here. But we do actually have the ability, if we want, with Terra to farm rooms. If we find a room that's really, really easy and has a lot of money in it, we can just, like, kill one enemy, walk out, walk back in, and keep doing that. Terra does give you that ability. Um, I don't think we have the need to do that right now. Like, just because we can doesn't mean we need to. Um, but it's cool to know that we have that ability if we would like to. Yeah, rooms like this are definitely ones where it's just get the hell out of there. Seems like the, the wisps, the spider wisps, are dying pretty quick. Got a boss here. This is just the boss that produces enemies, though, right? I don't know what this, like, goddamn liver thing is doing. Liver? It's not a liver, is it? Kidney? I think it's a kidney. I don't know why I said liver. To 57 coins already. I love these burn dudes. A little Among Us looking fella as well. Look at him go with all wee, wee little legs. Don't piss on me. We've got a shop here. I don't think there's anywhere to get to that, but I will try this just in case. Oh, it gave us a secret room though. Pretty good. Wasn't expecting that. Golden penny there. Why not? One one minute. One minute. One minute. Because we got a golden penny, let's just try and play this sack room real quick. It's going to be a little tedious. we got to do one. Two. One second. Let me check my console real quick. Okay, console's looking good today. Three. It's going to be a little tedious, as I said, but when there's a golden penny, you kind of have to. Just hip hopping back and forth. Especially annoying that the golden penny's in a larger room, which means so much more extra traveling, and of course, it's part of the other side of the room again. It's like three extra rooms of length we have to cross. This helps. Ah. 
So there's that, there's that item. Um, and then, okay, we've, we've already exhausted all the options now. Okay, good, we got Ask Contrition from that, nice. Decent enough. There's an R key there. Um, for one, I'm pretty sure that, like, I can't actually see the cost, but I'm fairly sure that costs 99. So it's a bit hard for us to get, but I guess I could try getting that. The golden penny could end up doing something for us. Wonder how far it'll take us. Should do one thing one second. I'm gonna quickly exit to my menu and continue. I'm getting a slight hitch in my game and I'm wondering if it's anything to do with reloading the game at all. It doesn't seem to be. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's as if like when I'm moving down, my character slows down, speeds up, slows down, speed up, slows down, speed up. It's kind of like a little lag hitch. I'm not sure what the hell's causing it. Weird. Okay, that's that. we're out of money now. We'll try and get up to 99 if we can. I'm almost certain it'll cost 99. It does in basically every other scenario. It's already a good start. To 86. We don't know how many rooms we have left. I'm just going to pop this down because it's annoying me having it in my hand. Honestly, this room might be enough. There you go, we're up to 99. Okay, I'm gonna try this. By the way, there is a significant risk here in the fact that if this doesn't work, I will die. Um, because there's a spike there. But I feel like, for the video's sake, we're at like 40 minutes, like why the hell not? So I think if I walk over this, Okay, I did get it, and it did cost 99. So we just R key right off the bat. Um, we might just die in this first room if I'm not careful, to be honest. No, we're good. There you go. Why not do an R key run? We did lose out on um, the Arachna item, which is a bit of a shame. But overall, pretty fun stuff. Okay, we can't actually get over those. That, those, that, those have to be gotten over with flight. So we do have to now pick up a lot of money here, because we are... Pretty much out. Can you, can you kill these things prior to... Yeah, you can. Okay. We can create some wispy. We still do have a few of the wisp left. Ooh, two dimes in a row back to back. Two batteries, because why not? Tech 2 is decent. And we got the apple, which is not great with our luck. And then we have... I think we definitely take this because it's a book. Did have one of those guys, but I'm not that worried about him. Okay. Grab this. Um, all locked doors will spawn uh, unlocked as cursed doors. <laughs> no, thank you. Not as this character, please. Very much not. Right, through we go. Then, yeah, now we've got um, tech with herming. Oh, and it's on a one room charge as well. So we, we, we just have Herming now. I forgot that we had 9 volt. Although... Okay, I was about to say it doesn't need to Herm to that guy. It does now. It's good. We get an Angel deal here. See what it gives us. Revenge for the Fallen. I don't know what that means, but I think I should take it. Oh, this has opened up both of these Angels. We might die right here. Okay, we did get a penny there. 
goddamn falling bullshit. Almost got me screwed up. Right. Don't know what this does. We don't have EID descriptions yet, but could be interesting. Right. Down we go. Missed out on one shop on that floor, but oh well. Oh, damn it. I didn't have the money for the stairway again. I forgot I had stairway. Well, what the hell? Oh, Revenge for the Fallen is just, um, when we get hit, we do calls to the light. That's, a, that's an item that I've seen in, like, three or four different mod packs already, but honestly, it's a decent idea for an item. I don't mind it. But it has been, <laughs> it has been done a few times already. But it's a cool enough item idea. No disrespect. Does the tech beam also destroy rocks? Oh, this room never finished, apparently. I don't know. That room's not finishing correctly. I think the crab is, like, underground or something, but I can't seem to get it. Yeah, having herming in all these rooms is quite nice. Yeah, we keep not finishing rooms by accident, but honestly... We don't really have much need to, so I'm not going to worry about it. Sir, where's your head at? There it is. Okay, black chest, black chest, red chest even. Shop has for us some good stuff here. Um, I don't think 4.5 volt is worth it. Pyro is probably pretty good. I think we should probably take Pyro. And also Mace Bomb and Butt Bomb sounds like a good combination. I don't know what these little card things I'm shooting every now and again are, by the way. Yeah, it seems to be shooting like little cards here and there. No, thank you. Not worth my money. Oh, we do have a thingy room here. Polaroid. Teleports you directly to Herm. Spawns a crack key inside Isaac's room alongside 20 other random pickups. It's kind of an interesting idea. Um, have we done the beast? We haven't done the beast as this guy. So, definitely plausible. Let me do the boss first. Ooh, new boss. And he's going to be dead very soon, but new boss. Wasn't new boss, but now it's not. The screw, I'll take for the fire rate. Nah, I'm not going to do that. It's too much of a pussy way out, I think. Like, we could easily beat the boss, but obviously, what's the point in getting an R key if you don't take it to fruition? And oh my god, I forgot about stairway again. How much point having stairway at this point, is there? Ain't much point in having it. Up this guy. Ah, really? Any flight? A diamond there, a golden bomb, all sorts of good stuff. Hanson's lock. Use my active in this room for no reason. Glaucoma, god damn it. Getting some bad items here. How did I miss that down? I missed a nickel right there. Walked right over it. It just did nothing. Missed it again. God damn it. Damn it. Them shops are so useless sometimes. God damn, we have so many wisps. And herming wisps at that. Good. Background to our boss. Don't know what hit me there. I think it was creep. And 
Nice. This is, I don't know, is this my first Arky run on Fiendfolio? I think it is. Okay, we've actually got a good amount of money now. <laughs> my god, it gets a little bit laggy when I'm uh, shooting at all those enemies. Oh, magic mush, and we've got a path to it as well, beautiful. Awesome. That is very, very good. That's, that's going to help a lot with our damage. Our damage was already decent, but the actual stat was pretty low, so it should help a lot. Uh, plus one damage, Blackheart drops a spicy key. Uh, from here we get the Bible, which, oh, for God's sake, I don't want to fight you. You knew that already, didn't you? Give me a look upgrade, though. It would give us 2020, so I guess we take it. I think it gives us Seraphim as well. Yeah, it gave us Bookworm and Seraphim. Which is pretty good going, to be fair. Wafer here is... I'd just say Wafer here is fantastic. It's actually useless, isn't it, as this character? It doesn't do anything. We, we take full heart damage no matter what as this guy. Ooh, Small Rock there as well. We're getting lucky with the drops here. It really didn't do all that much for us, I suppose. Oh, well. I'm going to try and do a beast run, I think, here. I think this this is a one that makes sense for beast. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with this enemy here. I think it's just two little tiny flies. Just get out of the way so I can press the button already and you can die. Thank you. You can accidentally use my book when I don't need to as well. Oh, we got one of these fellas. No, thank you, sir. Please, please go away. You spooky boy. I think B should get relatively wrecked when we get there. I'm hoping to we get like some like holy mantle to protect us though. Because our health still isn't great. Like we still don't have a lot of protection on when it's to generate money. Uh, outside of killing things. Which obviously on the beast fight, there isn't a lot of killing other enemies other than the, the bosses themselves. Teleport you to the super secret room. Unless we got one of these. Some ethereal pennies. My god. Amount of thingies that fell then. Insane. Should lead us straight to the boss pretty much. We do I keep forgetting we do have flight now as well. We got Seraphim, so. Here's the shop. Good, good. A lot of money to take into the shop, too. And we get this guy. God damn it. But it at least puts us nearly to 99. God damn, the fucking meat is moving my coins about. Stop hitting the coins right as I go to pick them up. It's just rude. I don't really care about my item room this floor all that much. I can't say if it gives me the opportunity to skip it, then I will. Double trouble boss fight shouldn't be all that bad. Yeah, there you go. That was a piece of piss. We get Golem's Orb, extra um, shot speed, speed, and luck. Yeah, we'll take that. It's pretty good. And then that's really good too, because we're using it active all the time. Get these extra missiles going on, and of course we got to fight both the angels again, because the game just hates us. But yeah, we should be firing fireworks all the time now because of the um, space for item. But it does be it is based on the amount of charges the item has, so it won't be a ton of fireworks. Also, we already have the Polaroids, so we don't have to do all this floor. I think we could just go straight in here. We can. But let's just do it. I was gonna say let's let's go find our shop and stuff, but honestly, we're more than powerful enough right now. We don't have to dilly dally. I don't want to make this run super, super long for, like, no reason sort of thing. I know I could min-max more, but... On pickup, grants a random wisp. Whenever this wisp is destroyed, grants a new wisp. Why not? Why not? Fucking... Oh, my God. Obsessed with me fighting the bloody angels. Okay, yeah, those fireworks are pretty awesome. 
And they're gonna be every room. Oh, I love this bat. I do think this is the floors where things are about to get a bit more laggy. Especially with the fireworks going off. I do need to look into it and see if I can figure out. Because my console isn't giving me anything particularly. Um, there's some error corrupt data detected. Delete your save data file which is located. Mod config save data. Okay, I'll have to ask someone about that and see if there's anything. In fact, let me take a quick screenshot of that right now. Um, there's no one in this room. Is there? Oh shit, there is. there's enemies in this room. Oh god. God damn the lighting. Um, yeah, let me take a quick screenshot of that, just to make sure I have that saved. Boom. We got a planetarium in here as well. Nice, we're skipping out item rooms. That kind of worked out for us, didn't it? Also, what is this case of darkness? Is, is kind of brutal. Um, bad items again here. We'll go for this one there. Encyclopedia. Not what we need here. Give you a random place here, mate, and why not? I love the music in here. Do you know what? Nah, I'm not, I'm not gonna faff around playing you. It's gonna take too long. <gasps> Range? Hell yes. It's exactly what we needed. Okay. Take care of that. Oh, damn, I keep walking into some of these rooms because it's so dark. I, I don't know why it is so dark, by the way. It, I feel like it's not meant to be this dark. Whoa. What on earth is going on with these enemies? That's only Luna. Let's go get that coin that's laying up there. Like, it, it's, it's redonkulously dark right now, right? Like, insanely so. I can't see anything. I don't even know if there's enemies in most of these rooms that I'm walking into. I'm just shooting and using Herming to hope for the best. Hello, you. Maybe it's just Gehenna plus this is pretty insane. Spin down dice could be interesting here. Oh, we never finished the stream, apparently. Not that we need to. Not that it's a requirement for us or anything. You fool's gold rock there, help us out. And then we got... Steam sales pretty good for us here. Otherwise I think we're good to go. This is a room that I do not want to be in. Oh, I've got to press all these buttons. Fuck's sake. It's actually not that bad. Okay, no, it is that bad. We got hit. It's okay, though. Pac-Man started up. Dad's note. Let's go. Please no more Curse of Darkness, though, because that was insane. Spent it. It's gone. Just get over it. Just get over it. How can you have spent our savings? Encyclopedia there. Really, realistically, we should definitely go back and uh, see if we can... Oh, we can't. I was going to see if we can grab this, but we can't. I really should get that cracked key and get myself a revive just in case. We don't have any revives right now. Stairway's still here. Eden's soul is not very good for us. And this is... doesn't have any description. I'll take it. Why not? This has been a very interesting run. It really has. Oh, we're lobbing out a hook, boy. Gotcha. 
I love the one room charge herming book. It's so good. Oh, what the hell? Why is that empty? Is that meant to be empty? What the heck? I thought this counted as a different floor. It shouldn't be empty. I don't know. It is though, I guess. That guy's scary. All right, is this going to be empty as well? No, this one wasn't empty. I mean, Eucharist doesn't really do anything for us. Fuck's sake, I don't want to fight the damn angel anymore. Leave it be. We'll take... Yeah, we'll take that, why not? There's so many wisps around us that it's kind of hard for us to get hit by projectiles right now. Like even when we're walking directly into trouble. Okay. Last few floors, three more. You need to confess your sins and become saved. Let his light inside you cleanse your soul. Not too bad. Pray for your salvation. I like the music on these floors too. We've got big grimaces in here. Apparently we can just leave that room. I didn't even destroy the door, it just let us leave. Oh, we, I think we just got that planetarium item that lets you do that. The axe is pretty good here. I remember that being pretty awesome. That character looks pretty gnarly right now. Oh no, this face has gone back to normal now. I was looking for something decent to spin down, but... Oh, what the hell? Who are you? Is that a boss? Go, my little axe, buddy. There was a luck penny in there I didn't end up getting there. Damn. For the most part, I'm just bailing through these rooms. Seeing if we get any good pennies. Bugger enough. I'm not even picking up most of the pennies, I'll be honest. Oop, this, this room never finished. Like I said, I could farm these, but I just don't feel the need. Got more than enough money for what I need to do. Up to 60 already. Holy waters, okay, we'll take that. I don't think there'll be a stairway on this floor, will there? I can never remember. Is there a stairway in home? I'd feel like no, but it is a new floor, so maybe? No, there isn't. Okay. I thought so. Right, last, last time to use the spin down here. Not really worth it, unfortunately. Right. In we go. We'll see what we can get done. Will this be quick? Will this be painful? Will I die? I I'm not expecting I might die. All, all it takes is two unlucky hits. And honestly, it's really easy to get hit against this boss. Like, this attack specifically here can hit me wh whether I'm doing well or not. Not every time, but... Okay, that's the first phase done. Second phase, it all depends on how many times he wants to do the bullshit thing. Ooh, there's a new icon for, for uh, the next second phase look on the health bar. Honestly, damage dealt already is really good, but how many times he does the, the swingy attack is basically depends on if we die or not. I think it's the axe that's like doing the insane damage. This attack isn't all so bad. There you go. That was an easy fight. Good, good. Okay. I'd, I'm not going to say we're definitely in the clear now, but there's a decent chance we're in the clear now. Still meteorites falling. I suppose this is a more thematic place for it to be happening. Like rocks falling to the ceiling sort of thing.
good old beast fight. This is taking a little longer than I thought on this uh, this attack though, this phase. I thought we'd have got him into second phase pretty much immediately. Took a bit longer than I thought it would. I think it really is the axe that's doing a lot of damage. We need to make sure that axe is aligned right. We need to be close enough for it to hit. We want to see the big damage. So we need to kind of stay close. Which I'll try and do, but that seems dangerous. There seems to be some sort of explosion happening on the enemy every now and again as well. Like that look. It's something to do with the axe. Okay, second phase now. Okay. They're two of the harder ones in my opinion. We do have a holy mantle as well, remember. Like that massive explosion, what's all that about? Definitely seems to be something to do with the axe. Yeah, it definitely is. Okay. Second phase. This phase is definitely harder if he rushes you. Otherwise, it's not too bad. Okay, he didn't rush us good. God damn, yeah, that explosion effect is really cool. Oh god, I do not like all of those freezing in place. I'm not sure what that's about, but I do not like it. You should be dead pretty much this phase. There you go. Okay, Beast himself. We'll see how this goes. Oh my god, the music has really kicked up a notch. It's pretty cool. Really fucking cool. My god. Probably should be dropping bombs as well here. Okay. We're not quite close enough to the axe to be hitting, which worries me. I'm not sure if the bombs are hitting either, but I'm trying. Oh god. Lost my holy mantle? No, I didn't. Okay. I was really expecting that I'd lose my holy mantle there, but I got lucky, I guess. He's almost into these last phase here, so he's going to flip around and then turn back around pretty quick. Oh wait, no, he is in last phase. Okay. I didn't realise. Last phase starts really a lot sooner than you'd think. It's at like half health. Anyways, there you go. A nice beast kill. That was a lot of fun. A really fun little R key run there. I hope you guys did enjoy. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.